What are leaves and its types? Do you know which part of a plant is called kitchen of a plant? You might be thinking about green colored leaves. Yes, it's true. Each leaf on a tree is like a tiny solar panel, gathering sunlight which the tree uses to make food. Sunlight helps turn water and carbon dioxide into oxygen and glucose, a sugar that tree uses for food to grow. This process of converting water and carbon dioxide into oxygen and glucose is called photosynthesis. Leaves provide food and oxygen, that's why they're considered as the most important organ of the plants. So let's learn more about this important part of a plant. The leaf is a lateral, generally flattened structure born on the stem. It develops at the node and bears a bud in its axle. Leaves originate from shoot apical meristems and are arranged in an acropetal order. They are the most important vegetative parts. A typical leaf consists of three main parts. Leaf base, petiole and lamina. The leaf is attached to the stem by the leaf base and may bear two lateral small leaf-like structures called stipules. In monocotyledons, the leaf base expands into a sheath covering the stem partially or wholly. While in some leguminous plants, the leaf base may become swollen, which is called the pulvinus. The petiole helps to hold the blade to lie. Long, thin and flexible petioles allow leaf blades to flutter in wind, thereby cooling the leaf and bringing fresh air to the leaf surface. The lamina or the leaf blade is the green expanded part of the leaf with veins and veinlets. There is usually a middle prominent vein which is known as the midrib. The arrangement of veins and the veinlets in the lamina of the leaf is termed as venation. When the veinlets form a network, the venation is termed as reticulate. While the veins run parallel to each other within a lamina, the venation is termed as parallel. Leaves of dicotyledonous plants generally possess reticulate venation, while parallel venation is the characteristic of most monocotyledons. Let's move to learn about types of leaves. There are about two types of leaves, simple and compound. A leaf is said to be simple when its lamina is entire or when incised, the incisions do not touch the midrib. While in other condition, the incisions of the lamina reach up to the midrib breaking it into a number of leaflets and leaf is called a compound. The compound leaves may be of two types, pinnatelli and palmately. In a pinnatelli compound leaf, a number of leaflets are present on a common axis, the rachis, which represents the midrib of the leaf as a neem. While in palmately compound leaves, the leaflets are attached at a common point, that is, at the tip of the petiole, as in silk cotton. Let's solve some important questions asked in medical entrance exams. Question 1. Parallel venation is found in Number 1. Monocot stem Number 2. Monocot leaf Number 3. Dicot stem Number 4. Dicot root this question was asked in AFMC 2006. Solution When the veins run parallel to each other, within a lamina of a leaf, the venation is termed as parallel and is common in monocotyledons. Hence, option 2 is correct. Question 2 Palmately compound leaves are found in Number 1. Apple Number 2. Orange Number 3. Lemon Number 4. Silk cotton this question was asked in CPMT 2011. Solution In palmately compound leaves, the leaflets are attached at a common point, that is, at the tip of the petiole, as in silk cotton. Hence, option 4 is correct. This video concludes about structures and types of leaves. To know more about leaves, please visit our next video. 
Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.